I wanna see if I can move this clip 33 different ways in 10 minutes starting now. You can click and drag the clip. You can hold option and click. So I just clicked the video. I'm gonna hold option, go up and down to nudge down, hold command to move over to the left, move, hold command to move over to the right, hold shift and command to shuffle many, hold shift and command to shuffle many that way. This gives me an idea. So let's say for some of these, I wanna get it to this little one minute mark in between all these other clips. Option click and drag my audio over to the minute mark right there. Right click on this, move into sync, and boom, there's another one. Copy and pasting. Let's go with Command C and move this over here. Command V, that's another way. Let's ripple delete. So right here, I'm going to ripple delete in between there. Also, if I wanted to ripple delete, um, I'm gonna set my in point and set my out point, hit ripple delete, and that ripple deletes over to that section. Ripple trim, so I'm going to ripple trim to uh, next edit here, boom and then I'm going to ripple trim to previous, just so you can see a difference here, boom. If I were to hit Command A, that would select all and click and drag. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna count other ways of selecting a clip as different ways. Speaking of our other ways to select the clip, let's do track select forward tool. Um, track select forward, you can move the clip that way. Track select backward tool, same thing this way. Also with track select forward tool, move this up here, hold shift and I can just do a specific track. So I'm gonna count that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna count it as I selected this with just the track select forward. Same thing with track select backward. I wish I knew the hotkey right off my head to do that, boom. And let's say we wanted to move it that way. Uh, what I will do is use the ripple edit tool to move this that way. And then I'll use the ripple edit tool to move it back. That was two different styles because you're moving back and forth. What else, what else, what else? Oh, rolling edit, can I use? Yes, I guess that would kind of be considered moving the clip. Even though the clip is stationary, I'm gonna count it. I know I did ripple delete, did I do? So let's say I wanted to get to, the, to this spot. So I'm gonna select clip and just keep ripple deleting till I get to that spot. Ooh, click and drag from the project bin. If I go to the media browser, where's my media browser, media browser, media browser. Um, click and drag from the media browser. Boom, uh, there's the actual clip from the media browser. If I click and drag from the finder window, boom, <laughs> this is a, such a strapping photo of me, actual photo of me. How much time do I have left? Five minutes, 49 seconds. Oh man, I'm running out of ideas. Oh, how about if I go here to bring this into the source window, I create an in and out point and then I hit um, insert, that inserted it into the timeline. Then let's say I wanted to overwrite, so overwrite. Um, if I change the source patching for inserts and overrides, then do that. That's basically you're seeing what's happening there. Ooh, getting even more ideas. So let me delete all of these time constraints, time constraints. I need footage to show you examples of all the things. With this next one, I'm going to click and drag, and I already did this, um, and it moves it to that point. But what if I were to click and drag and hold command, this is going to insert it, and it shifted everything over. I'm gonna count that, move a separate clip, and hold just command, that moved the clip. And another one is if I click and drag and hold option and command at the same time, boom. Oh, 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 I, I know, I know, I know. If I were to bring another clip in, let's do in, out, and insert that, I move the clip on the timeline, boom, that's another one. What are some other ways? I know I'm going to miss something like a copy and paste. I don't know if I already showed this, but if I hold option and drag it, I am duplicating that. I'm That's one, two, two minutes and 14 seconds. Oh, you highlight the clip and then you start typing on the number pads. Uh, I highlight the clip, I start typing on the number pad. So, oh, 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 one, oh, 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 oh. So that should move it to one minute. Boom, one minute mark there. That moves the clip. I. Caramba, what are some other ways to move clips? <laughs> My brain is going now. What, if, if I hold shift and click it? Ooh, if I hold shift, I can keep it in one place, but I can move it up and down. I'm gonna count that as a different one. What happens if I hold shift and option at the same time? Duplicates it, that's another one, boom. Um, Shift, option, and command. We're getting crazy up in this piece now. I don't think that did, I'm, I'm holding like too many modifiers for it to like do anything. Uh, that's not gonna do anything. How much time do I have? 56 seconds. 
I uh, know I'm missing something like really, really easy. What am I missing? What am I missing? If I just want to bring down the audio, I could. And I just want to bring down the video, I could. I I'll count those as some. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do that. 28 seconds. 28 seconds. What else? What do I have? I don't know what else I can do. Uh, you split the clip up and you move it like that. Split the clip and move. We'll count that one. It's done. I don't know if that's 33, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping I got it. Went back and just doing a quick tally from my screen record, it looks like I accomplished more than 33 different ways of moving that clip within Premiere Pro. Now, I do understand that a portion of them were just me clicking and dragging, but the process in which I clicked and dragged was a different way, whether it was the track select forward, backward, highlighting all of them. Every single one of those methods has their place and a different process in how you move the clip. So in my mind, that's a different way of moving the clip than just saying, hey, you clicked and dragged it. Obviously that's up to interpretation, but that's how I see it. If there's any ways that I forgot, which I'm sure there are so many other ways to move a clip within Premiere Pro that I did not feature in this video, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if there's a different challenge similar to this where I can try and do as many of X within 10 minutes in Premiere Pro, let me know. I'd be curious to try it out. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.